Hey guys! I know it's been a minute. I'm so sorry I had to miss last week's video because I had so much going on, um, plus the personal readings which are a priority for me in this line of work. Um, so yeah, definitely trying to stay on top of those as best as I can. But I am here today um, to do a collective reading for Divine Soulmate Connections where there is a karmic partner or karmic situation involved. I will be doing the reading as if it is on the masculine side, but of course a lot of these energies can resonate for feminines who are in karmic relationships themselves because we all have masculine and feminine energies, all right? So keeping that in mind. Um, also that the reading is general as always, so it can't resonate for everybody every single time. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And of course, don't hesitate to email me if you have any questions about the personal readings. All right, so I think that's about it. Yeah, and I hope everybody is finding ways to stay balanced, grounded, centered through these crazy times. All right, so let's see. We're going to start by getting some oracle cards for the masculine's energy first. And we'll take a look at their energy towards their karmic situation, towards their feminine. And then we'll take a quick look at what's going on with the feminines as well. All right, so for the masculine, so what is going on? Oh, all right. Wow, we got we got quite a bit. <laughs> we got three. Usually we just get one. Um, all right, so we have rest and rejuvenation, the fourth chakra, which is Archangel Raphael, as well as financial constraints. Okay, so yeah, this financial constraints, it could be just practical concerns, practical issues, um, definitely can be financial. Some of them might be facing financial issues, especially concerning their karmic relationship or just, you know, in any decisions that they're trying to make or just practical issues, like how to work certain things out, but definitely um, from a um, a 3D perspective, right, in the material world. So, yeah, with rest and rejuvenation and with the fourth chakra here, there's a lot of focus on actually resting, I feel, at the, at the moment, or they have been. I feel like that's actually shifting, to be honest with you, with this new moon that we just had recently. But I feel like this is, yeah, because we missed a week also. The masculines have been in a period of kind of taking a break, Right, focusing on their finances, focusing on getting those types of things in order. But as they've been resting, their fourth chakra has actually been energizing. All right, it's like I feel like these two cards actually go hand in hand. So, yeah, you know what? I think that's enough for the oracle cards. We're going to move on to their energy towards their karmic situation. Um, so, the other message coming through here is that for a lot of you, if you, if you feel like there has been a pull back from your masculine's energy, um, know that it's happening for a reason. There's a lot that's, that's being processed within the heart chakra during this time period. It's like that is needed. They need, in order for the heart chakra to be able to be balanced and to be energized, we need to have a sense of peace. All right, it's like they, those two things go hand in hand. Yes, having you can clear and energize your heart chakra to find peace, but it also goes the other way around, right? It's like an interactive kind of relationship there between the physical and the energetic body. So, and this is a good thing because the more that the heart chakra is energized and balanced, the more that we are functioning from a place of love and following our hearts. So this is what has been going on for the masculines. Let's see, so their energy towards their karmic situation or partner. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, and the Devil in Reverse. That Devil in Reverse really wanted to come out, by the way. Um, it was like at the end of the deck, and it was like, I wasn't getting any cards until we got to that Devil. So, wow. All right. There's a sense of independence. A sense of independence from their karmic situation. So even if you feel like they have pulled back, which I am getting, 
Um, I feel like they have just been kind of like taking a break. They're also pulling back from the karmic situation at the moment, but it's not just any kind of pulling back. It's not like numbing. It's actually quite the opposite. It's actually um, feeling a sense of self-reliance. And it's interesting because this, I would say this card is quite the opposite from the financial constraint. So I feel like actually there are certain obstacles, barriers, right? Either with finances or practical issues, but because the masculine is in this resting type of a period, they are able to actually find the resolutions for this. They're actually able to process and work through it rather than being in like a panic mode or in denial or anything like that. So it's like they're they're exploring this. They're exploring how they can actually move forward with whatever um, with whatever is challenging them at the moment on a practical level and they're able to do this successfully. Right? Look at this, the devil in reverse releasing attachments and again i feel like that's coming from this um pause that they are taking this break this resting their heart chakra opening up allowing themselves to release any kind of a negative attachment maybe even fears we'll see if, if we clarify these let's get one more row A little more specific what is going on in their headspace and emotional space right now. Yeah, there was one that wanted to come forward. But let me just get one more. So we have the King of Cups together with the Ace of Wands in reverse, the King of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. All right. There's a lot of emotional balance that is taking place at the moment, which is really interesting. I wasn't expecting this, to be honest. Um, a lot of emotional balance. And not only that, it's like this, for a lot of the masculines, depending on their situation with their karmic partner or karmic um, situation, whatever it might be, a lot of them do have love for this, right? There is some kind of love. But with the Ace of Wands being in reverse, there's no passion, there's no um, drive, there's no like motivation to continue on in this path. So this is actually, again, it's very positive because it's coming from a very balanced place. Like this is very much in line with that heart chakra being energized, which I automatically picked up that that's that, that it's actually coming into balance. It's not that that's a challenge here. That's not their issue, right? It's not serving as a problem. And it's because of that, because they are in this state of um, peace, and functioning from a place of love, it's like they're having this, this deep understanding, even intuitively, that this is something that has no potential for the future. And this is something that it's like they have um, this essence about them where they're feeling very, very confident and very certain about that. It's like the masculine right now is feeling like they can accomplish anything. I feel like after a period of feeling hopeless or feeling disappointed with their own selves, right now they're feeling like they can they can do whatever they want. They can they can follow their heart. They're still um, they're still holding on to this though. They're still holding on to this, and again with that four of pentacles, I feel like they're holding on. Again, for those practical issues, right? Because that's there. So the, here's what it feels like. It feels like emotionally, the masculine is ready to let go, right? They're feeling independent. They're feeling um, self-reliant. They're feeling unattached. 
they are resolving fears, they are resolving attachment issues, but there's something either financial or in the practical realm that is um, making them still hold on to this. So emotionally, no, they're, they're detached, they're gone from there. It really is all about sorting out the financial or practical issues for the collective that I'm tapping into today. All right, let's, uh, let's clarify a couple of these. Let's see that in my pentacles. Ooh, interesting, okay. So Ace of Cups and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. See, so this is exactly what I was saying. They're on an emotional level, they're detached, they've released. So, that, and that would include, um, you know, feelings of maybe even guilt, um, or even just insecurities within, the, within their own selves that stem from childhood wounds or issues of abandonment or ego. I feel like all of those issues are coming into balance here. They have released this idea that, you know, emotionally, um, this is where I might be able to find happiness. They've released that. Let me see the Page of Swords. All right, the Six of Pentacles. Okay, again, so this is what they are, they are researching or exploring is how they can figure out the practical issues. How can they still give whatever it is that they are required to give, right? To be in the right, to make sure that they're not um, leaving anybody with the short end of the stick kind of a thing. And they're doing this from a very balanced and detached place. Let's see the devil in reverse. And we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're not feeding any toxic behavior, any toxic situations anymore. They're not investing in anything that is toxic. So, for example, if um, if there's like a pattern that's like that could be repeated within the karmic relationship, the masculine is not investing in it. They're they're not. They're, they've broken a cycle here. All right, let's see this bottom row. Let's see, King of Cups and the Ace of Wands. The Seven of Cups. All right, so it can be a little bit confusing for them. Um, <laughs> like, feeling, feeling the love, but not feeling passion for this, not feeling motivated for this connection, not feeling... Um, the potential for it, that can be a little bit confusing, but I feel like what they're doing is they're opening themselves up to other options, just to options of what else can be, um, rather than having to force themselves or talk themselves into this ace of wands like they had in the past. Yeah, let's see the four of pentacles. Justice in reverse. Yeah, there's something here that, that still needs to be resolved on a practical level. It's just the same message over and over again. Um, again, they don't they want to make sure that everything is done in the in the right way. Um, for some of them, it could even be that there there was um, a decision that they made where it kind of okay yeah very specific message it's, it's only going to resonate for some of you um there was a decision that the masculine made that actually was in the karmic partners or situation whatever um it it didn't work out too well for them so it was almost like it was like a bad move um or it affected this person negatively all right and when i say karmic partner it could it could be a friend it could be a relative okay whoever it is that's 
that's involved here. Um, and so they're holding on because they're still trying to bring that into balance. And again, whatever that is for most of them, I feel like it's going to be like a practical issue, a material issue, not, um, not emotional. All right, and for others, it's again, it's like the message that I got with the Six of Pentacles. They want to make sure that they are just. And yeah, for a lot of them, you know, it could definitely be that, you know, they might have a little bit of a distorted um, perception of what is just. Um, some of them happen to be people pleasing. Um, and so, yeah, they might be overdoing it a little bit in that regard, but the intentions are good. So let's see their energy towards the feminine. And you know what? Actually, for some of them, it could even be the opposite. It could even be that the, um, it's like the karmic almost um, owes them something in some cases, okay? It could go either way. And so they're staying there holding on until they bring certain things into balance, until certain things get resolved. And... For others, it could be that, you know, it's just something mutual that needs to be resolved on a practical level. So for their energy towards their feminine, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles showing up again, and the Knight of Cups. Okay. This is a really big difference here. Um, they're viewing the they're viewing the feminine as this queen of pentacles as somebody who at the moment um, is very grounded. You basically have your shit together. And whether that's true or not, it doesn't matter. This is how they're viewing you. With the queen of pentacles, I mean, that's a very um, solid, stable, grounded, nurturing kind of an energy. And this is what they are picking up from you, right? They can feel that care um, that you have for them. For some of you, it could even be that you are concerned about them for something or about something. There's something that might be worrying you about the masculines and I feel like they're picking up on it. The masculine at the moment is feeling like they don't want to, um, they, they don't want to be hot and cold. That's something that they don't, that they don't want. And for a lot of them, that is how they have been. And I'm getting here that this is something that they are, that they are acknowledging that they have been this way in the past, but it's like now they want to progress towards this Knight of um, Cups and come forward from a place of love and not from a place of insecurity, right? Nine of Pentacles, right, smack in the middle, that's also self-worth. Yes, that's also feeling self-reliant, all of that, but it's like, what I'm getting here is that the masculine was hot and cold because of the karmic situation. There were different things um, dynamics that were influencing them, cr causing them to be like this Knight of Wands in reverse. And this is them being in that Nine of Pentacles, right? Which is reflecting that very first card that we got for their energy towards their karmic. And by being, by being self-reliant like this and unatt unattached, the more that they hold that energy, the more that they are feeling like they want to move towards their feminine with love. So that's their general energy. Let's, let's get a little more specific. Page of Wands, 
the Three of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. Ooh, they're really stressed about the future here. They're... Okay. The masculine is really curious as to where the feminine is moving towards. And there's a lot of fear surrounding that. So it could be that for some of you, you are either not really letting the masculine know what's going on with you if you are in contact, or maybe you're not in contact, but maybe, you know, they're just having these um, ideas as to what you might be doing or just coming up with scenarios. They might not know what you're doing, but they're thinking, they're thinking a lot about what path you might be taking now and what that might lead to in the future and that really worries them that stresses them out right, let's see the queen of pentacles Queen of Swords and the Hermit in Reverse. Yeah, they have a lot of respect for you at the moment. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're either setting boundaries or you have, um, yeah, just like put certain conditions on what you accept and what you don't expect or what you don't accept, sorry. And it could be that you're, you're withdrawing a little bit. I feel like you're doing that though in a way where you're still showing or you're still giving off the vibe of care, that you care about, about the masculine, but you're also keeping your distance and setting boundaries. Let's see that Knight of Wands. The High Priestess. Yeah, okay. See, so for a lot of them, like I said, they have this knowing. They know. They acknowledge their behavior. They know that they've been um, either hot and cold or in and out or unstable. All of that. They might not be expressing it to you. They might not be showing it to you. They're keeping it for themselves. But this is something that they are very much aware, aware of. And that's why they don't want to be in that energy. Even if they still appear that way. Um, they're acknowledging it. Let's see the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. The King of Pentacles. So this is what they're moving towards, right? The masculine really wants to be, um, just like they're seeing you as that Queen of Pentacles, they're wanting to be the King of Pentacles. They're wanting to match you. They're wanting to meet your, your vibe, your frequency to give you basically what you deserve. But in order for them to do that, they need to first find their own self-worth. And that's actually what they're doing. So yeah, it might feel like there's this pause, right? The rest and rejuvenation. But there's a lot that's going on in this particular um, break or in this particular pause or you know whatever it might be. You might still be in contact, but there might it might feel like there's this like resting, this it might feel like stagnation, but it's not. All right, so let's see this bottom row. Six of Cups in reverse and the Temperance card. So this is what they're stressing about. They're stressing about you moving away from the connection. So here's what they're thinking. They're thinking, you know, if you disconnect or move away from, from the connection, will they be able to find peace with that? And the answer is no. They're afraid of you finding peace away from their connection, from the connection with them. And that's really stressing them out. So 
yeah, take that however it resonates because it might be different for, for all of you. All right, so let's see. Let's take a quick look at the feminines and then we'll also see what's coming up. What is going on here? So three cards for the masculines and we just got three cards for the feminines. All right, we have a woman holding a heart all tied up and strategy. All right, okay, so obviously some feminines might also be involved in karmic situations that they feel kind of stuck in, okay? Um, I do feel like you're being called to really, you know, follow your heart. Really follow your heart. Your heart knows. Your heart knows the answer. That is your strategy, basically, all right? Um, for those of you where this is not the case, Wow, okay, so it's interesting because it's like it's like you're you're setting your boundaries, that's really good, right? And I feel like you are appearing a little bit detached as well to the masculine because I'm just judging by the way that they're viewing you. Um, but you still you do have a lot of love for them. And like I said, I do feel like for the most part you are still giving out that energy, but just with a more stern approach. Um but yeah, that love is definitely there. And I feel like what you're coming to realize is that that, you know, even when you you try to, to just completely forget about this, this connection, it's it's proving to be really, really difficult. It's almost like you it's like coming to terms with the fact that, you know what, regardless of whether we end up together, um, regardless of whether I move on or, you know, whatever I end up doing, accepting that this love will always be there. I will always feel this way, so there's no point in fighting it. I feel like um, for a lot of you, you have tried that in the past and it just didn't work. So, and I mean, trying to force something never works. We do need to go through phases because that's the only way that we can get to this acceptance is by actually trying, right? Trying this way, trying different strategies, different alternatives to see if, um, if you can move on. And only when you come back to, okay, you know what? I'm just always gonna have this love. Then it's easier to actually cope with and still find balance, still find peace and still be able to move on with your life and be centered and be okay, but knowing that, you know what, this is just something, a connection that's always going to be there and there is no replacing it. Yes, you can have other connections, you can have other very, very happy connections, right? But if this is this type, for at least for this group, all right, this type of a divine soulmate for this particular group, you cannot replace that. You can find something else and it can be very fulfilling but you cannot look for a replacement for this particular connection. Which is probably true for any connection, but for this one especially, it's like the intensity, that love, that type of love, it's, it's very difficult to really um, replicate. So that's, that's just what I'm getting here. <laughs> um, if it doesn't resonate, that's, that's totally okay. Not everybody's situation is the same. Um, yeah, you know, I think, no, all right, we'll get a couple cards, just three cards for the feminines, just any messages that want to um, come through for you. how spirit does this all right so the ten of cups was in reverse um, but i feel like this is messages so it doesn't really matter to me so we have judgment the two of cups and the ten of cups wow is this not what i just said it is <laughs> it is because this judgment card this is making that discernment making the discernment um and having that that recognition, that acknowledgement of this Two of Cups, of this love. 
that it is what it is and really coming to terms with it. Being okay with the fact that, you know what, this connection, it's just something unique. It's a once in a lifetime type of a connection. You cannot find it somewhere else. Yes, you can be fulfilled. Um, but I feel like it's also, there's also this discernment with the Ten of Cups having been in reverse initially. Um, it's this discernment between what it is that you do want and what it is that you don't want, even if that applies to your masculine, what it is that you don't want from your masculine versus what it is that you do want. So again, going back to what you accept and what you don't accept. And for others of you, um, this might even be having dated certain people that were just not at your frequency or just not in alignment with you. And again, being able to make that discernment and then through that being able to fully come to terms with how you feel about this connection rather than being in denial about it. I'm not suggesting anybody stay stuck on the masculine. I'm not promoting um, sitting around and waiting for the masculine. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying accepting how you feel because only by accepting it, that's when you can actually heal and be able to move on and find fulfillment. If we just deny what we feel, it's just always going to creep up on us and affect us in various ways. Okay, that's all I'm saying here. So just an acknowledgement of how you feel. That's all. And if, I'm just saying this because like, I just know um, from some of the comments that sometimes people leave, you know, not every reading is for everybody. And if, if you don't agree with what I'm saying, that's completely okay. But I feel like those who get um, what I'm saying or for those that it does resonate, they will, they will understand the message. All right, so let's see what's coming up. What is this leading to? Masculine, or their karmic situation. fun right okay the lovers in reverse the six of wands in reverse and the four of wands in reverse yeah it's just a deterioration of this um of the connection basically um it's just not working basically <laughs> it's a very simple message very straightforward the details are going to be different for each um but it is a future energy which cannot be as specific as what is going on right now. But basically the masculines are moving towards a complete, um, what's the word? Um, like a surrender with the six of wands being in reverse, like a surrender to the fact that this connection is the lovers in reverse. There is no passion. There is no, there's no um, deeper type of love. Yes, there is love. Yes, um, like I said before, but it's not the type of love that they would want for a stable long-term commitment here and I actually feel like the, the foundation of this connection whatever it is it's crumbling it's weakening all right so let's see their energy towards their feminines coming up Nine of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Um, so they're still wanting this, right? Obviously, Nine of Cups. This is them actually having fantasies or still holding the feminine as a wish. As a wish. But it feels like they're, I feel like they're turning their back to that, in a sense, not turning their back to their feminine. But more like turning their back to having the feminine just as this fantasy, as this wish. It's Six of Pentacles in reverse. Feeling like, you know what, until I can give, 
until I can give there and until I can be there on a practical level, not just in the 5D, not just in thoughts, not just in spirit, not just in fantasies, but until I can actually give to this in a balanced reciprocal way, I'm going to keep my distance. So it's it's kind of like keeping their distance from that fantasy and wanting to move more towards giving in the practical, which it's actually, um, it feels like it fits very well with what's going on right now with the masculine and their karmic partner where they're focusing more um, on the material, like sorting those things out, figuring out that six of pentacles with the, with the karmic partner before they can actually give to to the feminine. But that's what they want. So they're moving away from it just being a fantasy. So they can focus on the practical. All right. So let's get a final card to close out this reading. If you feel like it resonated, let's see. Final message. And we have flexible and never ending story. I really feel like this is a message for the feminines and it is pretty much what I was just saying. Um, never ending story because you know, if, even when you, tr if you try to, if you try to be rigid and just be like, nope, you know, done. It doesn't work that way. Yes, you can be done if you want to, but only when you've actually acknowledged your feelings. So not being rigid, being flexible with how you feel. So let's get um, let's get one or two to represent the masculine. Here and now. Yeah. I feel like this is exactly what I was just saying here for their um, near future energy towards their feminine. It's not that they're moving away from you. It's that they're focusing on the here and now, not, not wanting to focus on, okay, what's going to happen in the future? You know, am I going to do this? Are we going to be together? You know, just wishing, fantasizing. No, they're focusing on the here and now. And what is that? Focusing on the practical aspects of what's, of what needs to be done for their highest good, to follow their heart, because emotionally they're finding their balance. So now they need to sort out the practicals and focus on the here and now. So yeah, that is it guys. I'm going to leave it at that. I thank you all so, so much for watching and much love.